Coming up, Aqua Fitness. Welcome, I'm John, John Health and Fitness. I'm going to give you a demonstration of an aqua class. Now you know that I'm not actually in a pool. This is the preferred method of teaching. If you were in a class of mine, you would see me teaching, as they call it, from the deck. That's where you can see me, and I can see you. You do want to consider the moment that if you're in the pool, you're going to be around chest level. So you notice I'll keep my arms down low as if I were in a pool. That's to take advantage of the resistance of the water down here. It's not a bad workout on land either, but mainly this is obviously for being in a pool. And again, for demonstration purposes only, let's get going. We have three distinct segments here, each between four and four and a half minutes long, and each choreographed to music. I will have those songs I use listed in the description. All right, I'm going to start right away here. Now, I like this one. This is jack arms with a kick. So you're moving your arms in the frontal plane, your legs in the sagittal plane. Requires a little bit of thought. Not quite the brain teasers I sometimes throw at my classes, but it is not immediately intuitive. As my hands are open, I've got the flat parts of my hand facing the water for the resistance. Trying to stand up tall and straight. Now you might not have your hands come up quite that high if you're in the water, depending on how deep the water is. Now I've got the high knees going and kind of a swirl push. Pushing the water out then bring the arms around, almost like a little bit of a chest press and a little bit of back work as you bring them around. Then I reverse, kind of scooping it in. Whole time, you notice my fingers are apart, my hands are open, I'm trying to increase that surface area that I'm pushing through the water. That's not always the case, I switch that around, but here I'm trying to get a little bit of strength and tone involved. Now this is the third move in this segment. It's a step with a sweep. My palms are facing the direction. As much as my arms are moving, I really have my class think about the core. Because that's where a lot of this energy is coming from. So a little bit of transverse plane, a little bit of rotational energy. And I like them to move through the water with that step. And we're back to the jack arm front kicks. Back to our high knee, push out and in. By the way, feel free to play your own music during this. You can use the songs I use. It doesn't match up in terms of speed. Uh, but really, anything that's motivating to you is fine. You can kind of get, get an idea of what we're doing here. So I throw in the reverse there. Try to even all these motions out to a certain extent. And back to our step sweep. Again, really thinking about engaging the core as you do this. Palms facing the water. Back to jack kicks. Again, yeah, I like to leave it up to class participants how quick they move, how quickly. Back to our high knee swirls because I don't, as much as this is choreographed, I don't like, or I don't like to force people to do synchronized moves. I like the people to move at a pace that works for them. So if they want to go really quick, great. I always say as fast as you can go. When I'm up on the deck of the pool like this or on the side, I can move pretty quickly because I'm in the air. And I do that basically so they can see this is the fast part to move. I don't necessarily expect everyone to move quite this quickly. Well, this here, this this is a pace you could keep in the pool. And back to jack kicks. A minute to go. Add a little bit of a hitch kick here, kind of pick it up a little bit. And to the sweeps. And our swirls. This is where we finish. 
So you see, I repeat a lot of moves, so it's kind of get a real good feel for each one, enough variety to keep it interesting, but again, enough repetition so you can kind of master the move, get a feel for what it is, get really good at it during the course of just the four minutes that we did this. All right, straight to the next one. You don't let people stand around the pool too much. They cool down. It gets really cold when you're a little wet. This is a step out clap jack. Now I'm doing a strolling motion. Now the difference here is I kind of have my hands spearing forward, so very little chest work. I'm emphasizing the back here, which I like to do anyway. Back tends to get elongated in regular life, whereas the chest gets shortened, so I want to strengthen it. So I'm putting those arms straight forward, kind of spearing them, and then opening up, knuckles facing the resistance of the water. So you can really feel it in that back, or especially the mid-back. The whole time, light little jaw, keep your heart rate up, keep you warm. Now we're going to do our step out clap jacks. Now we're speeding it up a little bit with these low cross arm jacks. So your hands and arms are still in the water the whole time. A full on jack with the arms down low. And because I'm having the edge of my hands face the water, I can go a lot more quickly. And the people in the water can too. It's more of a cardio move. Now I'm doing clap jacks, cardio style or, or jack style. And then a little switch up here. Clap jack arms with a heel run. Make sure people are paying attention. All right, back to try and move where I'm spewing those hands forward, opening them up. Knuckles facing the resistance of the water. Always keep those legs moving, almost always. Every now and then I have the legs still and I want people to focus on the upper body, but if you're in the water, typically I want you moving. I want those legs going. Now step out. Now while the uh, jack style ones are quicker, gets the heart rate up more, this can be just as difficult because it's a big move. And now our low cross arm jacks. I do another version of this you'll see in the future at some point when I get the video up where I cross the legs too. So you have to be take some care with your hips on that one. Now you know I'm trying to switch which arms in front here each time as well. I don't always nail it every single time, but that's the goal. Well, you might note, this is, again, this is a pretty decent workout on land, even though I'm not in the water. And then we're going to those clap jack arms with the heel run. And that big, low cross arm jack. So get your heart rate up. It's a long segment. Step out, jacks. Clap jack hands. Heel run. So once again, you notice I cycle through these. And there are specific segments of the music where I do these. I'm going to finish off with these low arm cross jacks. All right, one to go. No rest. Right straight into it. Now these are going to be low switch kicks. Keeping my arms up, still in the water, typically. And low little quick kicks. And we add the punch and then big high kicks. I actually do this very same move on my land classes. This will get you as well on land. But it works well in the water too, so that's why I add it here. 
And now, step out, lateral jack arms. So my arms are crossing in front of me. Roughly shoulder height, a little low in there because I want to cue people keeping their arms in the water. Stepping out side to side. And then we add the full-on jack with the jack legs. And again, I'm using bladed hands, basically that narrow part of my hands facing the water. So you can get a decent amount of speed up, even with those long arms having to go through the water, called a long lever. It's a little quicker with the blade hands. When you face that full palm or knuckle into the water, it slows you down. More resistance, I do that on purpose too, but sometimes I want speed. So we're back here to these low switch kicks. Get them a little higher here, you'll notice, and then we add the punches. Now, I'm just adding this. Sometimes I'll slow it down a little bit or demonstrate to people that even though in the water is relatively low impact, you can make it even lower impact by doing one at a time, alternating the move rather than reciprocating it like that. You want to make sure people have options, and you have options throughout. You can always dial it up, dial it down, whether it's speed, or range of motion, or impact. All right, back on to our low switch kicks. And those lateral step-out jacks at this part. Now those lateral step-out jacks. Arms up roughly shoulder height, a little below. You know, with these step-outs, I'm really accentuating that back part, kind of turning into a stretch, and now a big move here. These are partly a dynamic stretch, by the way. You'll notice when I cross them in front, I get a little stretch in the back, and then I'm getting a little chest stretch in the front. Now in the water, the momentum will slow you down. It's a little more forgiving in the water, so it's a little safer. Now, once again, we're cycling through these moves. Apologies for the autofocus. It goes out from time to time. Punches come in. Kicks get higher. Once again, low impact version. Low switch kicks. Less than a minute to go. Cross arm, lateral jack, straight to the jacks this time. Thirty seconds. Straight to the switch kick, high kick punches. few more and done. If you like that, think it's useful, hit the like button. If you really liked it, don't forget to subscribe, hit the alert bell as well so you get future videos. We've got all kinds of exercises here, nutrition and motivation. Take care, catch you next time.